Coming up next, Unscrewed, followed by Anime Unleashed at midnight. Coming up tonight, lies in the sky. Why Americans aren't getting the real story behind the UFO sighting in Mexico. Plus, punk rock gets political. We got the lead singer of No Effects in our studios to give us the lowdown. And our girl gone wired is a lingerie lover and says she loves everything about men. Really, Adrian? You love everything? <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Laura Swisher and you're watching Unscrewed. And here he is, a man whose friends opted out of their cell phone in plan as soon as he joined. It's Martin Sargent. Hey everyone, thanks so much for being here on us, dude. Wonderful to have you in the audience. Yeah, that was fairly embarrassing, Laura, when that happened to me, but what was more embarrassing is when I joined the MCI Friends and Family Plan and all my family opted out. That, that was a big shot to the ego. You shouldn't let them know. Just join in and, you know. I know, I know. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to Unscrewed, the show that walks the beach of Internet culture at sundown, searching for shark's teeth and pretty shells, maybe for a necklace or maybe to put it in an ashtray on the back of the toilet. I'm head beachcomber Martin Sandy Sargent. Speaking of collecting, the weirdest thing happened to me last night when I was out wandering the interstate looking for cans. I was scanning the weeds when I looked up to see a man standing before me, a man who looked just like screen legend Steve Gutenberg. He stared at me and said, I am not Steve Gutenberg. I just look like him. I'm actually a magical tech genie who roams the interstate granting high-tech wishes to all the down-and-out drifters I meet. Then he took off his shirt and touched his nipple, which uh, I thought was kind of weird. Then I noticed he was glowing. So I thought, he really is a genie. Come to grant me three high-tech wishes. Right off the bat, I knew what I wanted for my first wish. I wanted my favorite adventure person action figure, Ranger Wayne, to be turned into a real man who could visit me in my daily life. And just like that, Ranger Wayne walked among us, a real man. <laughs> Martin. Ranger Wayne. Martin, the floodwaters have reached the building. We need to evacuate immediately in my hoverboat. You're right, Ranger Wayne. There's nothing more we can do here. Let me just power down. Come quickly. Come with me now, Martin. Yeah, I love Ranger Wayne, but uh, I did catch him banging my girlfriend last night. <laughs> so I had to cane him, but uh, I think everything's cool between us now. Point is, point of this all is, the tech genie was real, and I had two more wishes to burn. So next, I wished I could hold intern gladiator matches in the parking garage at work, and that wish was also granted. <laughs> I guess I got kind of lucky with that one because it really doesn't have much to do with technology at all. <laughs> anyway, I had to really, really think hard about my last wish. And then it hit me. I wanted a pair of magical suspenders with the power to grant me as any wishes as I wanted for the rest of my life. But the asshole tech genie said that was against the rules, so he said I could only get non-magical suspenders, to which I said, yeah, okay, that's cool. And just like that, the tech genie vanished into the night, leaving me with these. Yeah. And with a valuable lesson learned, I learned that technology is not always about cold, hard science. It's also about magic and, and rainbows and unicorns. And I'm just realizing I should have wished for a unicorn. But every time now I look down at my suspenders, I remember that tech genie is out there somewhere wandering the interstate, sprinkling magic on drifters, and that makes me happy. <laughs> you know, that Ranger Wayne, Ranger Wayne, got to bang my He's one crazy bastard. I, I dig hanging out with him so much, I've been bringing him into the office with me. And you know, for a guy who spent his whole life as a tiny plastic toy, Ranger Wayne sure has the gift of gab with the ladies. Here, check him out today by the water cooler at work. Hi, I'm Ranger Wayne. Hi, Ranger Wayne. I'm an adventure person turned into a man, and I've got a hover boat. That's nice. Maybe you'd like a ride. I don't think so. We'll be back when the floodwaters rise, baby. You're gonna bring back the Mork look. The Mork? No, I'm actually going for the Gallagher look. 
It's comedy, man. Hey, tonight's show is more mysterious and magical than Doug Henning. Lead singer for punk band No Effects and founder of punkvoter.com, going to jump into the unscrewed mosh pit to talk turkey on the upcoming election. And our girl gone wired is so hot that if someone dangled her like four feet in front of me, but, but just out of reach, I'd just keep walking and walking until I fell over and died. <laughs> but first, we're going to visit with Unscrewed's favorite conspiracy buff and author of best-selling book, Alien Agenda, here via satellite from Dallas, Texas, is Jim Mars to talk about Mexico. How you doing, Jim? Great to have you back on the program. So what is going on down in Mexico? Oh, man, it's, uh, it's really exciting down there. Uh, first off, <laughs> there's more and more people who are taking UFOs more and more seriously. Is that because of the overpopulation? And now, now it seems there's more and more countries taking UFOs seriously. Uh huh. Well, this, this was sort of reported a little bit here in the American press. There was some UFO sightings in Mexico that really couldn't be easily explained away. Tell us about those. Well, it happened back on May the 3rd, and you had eight Mexican pilots in one plane. Uh, that sounds like the beginning of a joke, but uh, actually they were out looking for drug smugglers. Okay, I think everything's been explained right now. Eight Mexicans in a plane looking for drugs. Maybe they saw something, no? No, that, actually they didn't see anything. But what they did was have some very sophisticated radar and forward-looking infrared, known as FLIR. Mm -hmm. And when they turned on this radar and FLIR, because they thought there might be something out there, they found this giant glowing uh, round object. And as they watched, it began to break into different objects. And, and on, the, uh, on the tapes of their, of their flight, you can hear them start counting off, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. <laughs> And uh, 11 objects appeared on this thing, but, but, and they brought the film back and the Mexican uh, Defense Department studied it, and, and quite frankly, they were amazed. They couldn't figure out what it was. I know, it's really weird so, that you would have 11 weather balloons all in that close proximity. That's right. <laughs> but here's where the really weird part comes in. The uh, head of the Mexican Defense Department, who would be the equivalent of our Donald Rumsfeld, turned over the tape to a broadcast journalist named Jaime Masson and said, we can't figure out what this is. Ask your audience if they know what it is. That's pretty now, cool. That's now, hey, Martin, how'd you like Donald Rumsfeld to hand over gun tape from a military aircraft to you and I and say, show this to the audience and ask them what it might be? I would love that. <laughs> Rumsfeld, bring it on, my friend, bring it on. But that's the that's difference, right. I guess, between the way they treat this stuff in Mexico as opposed to the United States. Here, we would cover that kind of thing up for good reason, right, Jim? That's, that's exactly right. Because, But, you know, this is interesting because this means Mexico now becomes the third or fourth country in the world. Uh, France issued a report a few years ago that said it's all real. Russia's been very interested in UFOs for a long time. Belgium issued some statements about them. Brazil's big on UFOs. So we're the last to find out about this, but it seems that these other countries now are breaking ranks. They're, they're not adhering to the secrecy that's been laid down in this country. Hey, Jim, we got to go, but real quick, who do people in the conspiracy theory support for our president, Bush or uh, the other guy? Kerry. <laughs> I'm yeah. joking, <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> I think most of them go for none of the above. Because they're all part of the Illuminati, aren't they? <laughs> well, you know, you can vote for Skull or you can vote for Bones. You're going to get the same secret society guy. All right, Jim, I want you to come back and maybe we'll talk about that issue. There he is, Jim Mars. Oh, right. It's a pleasure having him on the show. And my friend, you were fantastic in Jurassic Park. For more info, check out JimMars.com. Coming up next, Fat Mike of the punk band NoFX has founded a site to fire up young voters. Find out why after the break.